Well, hi, uh, kiddos, it's Grandpa Ken. You know, I asked somebody once, who in the world would be the best in the whole wide world to tell me about insects? And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and then I realized, it's the fly guy, kiddos. Who would know more about insects than our fly guy? So let's find out. Now, you remember the fly guy is... A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. You know what it was? Buzz. Buzz and Fly Guy were outside, and Fly Guy wanted to look for insects. Buzz was a little worried. Some insects are scary, he said. I know, Fly Guy, you're an insect, said Buzz, and you're not scary. I have nothing to be afraid of. They set off to discover more. See, Fly Guy? He goes, Buzz, don't forget, Buzz. I'm an insect. I'm a fly. Huh? Did you know that? There are more than one million, one million different kinds of insects, kiddo. A billion different kinds of insects. Insects live all over the world, and they live on every continent and even Antarctica, where it's like frozen all the time. Many people call insects bugs, but not all insects are bugs. A bug is a kind of an insect. Bugs have a mouth shaped like a straw. True bugs include milkweed bugs and, and, and a box elder bugs and stink bugs. See? See them up there? They're at a, kind of like a zoo, aren't they, kiddos? Insects have been on Earth for hundreds of millions of years. They have crawled and they have buzzed around even before the dinosaurs, kiddos. Long ago, insects were much bigger than they are today. A giant dragonfly wing street stretched over two feet. Think about that, kiddos. That's that big. A dragonfly with wings over two feet. That's the same as the wingspan of an arctic puffin. It's a big bird. Arthropur, Arthropleura, was like a giant centipede. It, it was six feet long. Ooh! That's the average length of a lion. See, look at kiddos, they're comparing the dragon. Think about it, had the, a dragonfly had the wingspan of a big bird. All insects have a life cycle. A life cycle is made up of the changes that happen to the insects from the time of their beginning of its life until it dies. Most insects hatch from eggs. The insect grows into a larva, and the larva are called maggots. Maggots. Lee guy didn't like that. Larvae molt or get rid of their old skin to grow bigger. Next, the insects become a pupa. Yeah, I know, pupa. The pupa is like it hides in a cocoon or, or, or a shell. This is called metamorphosis. Can you do that? Say that word, guys. Metamorphosis. Some insects, some insects, such as amphids, give birth to live young. Ooh, think about it. Just like your mommy gave birth and you were alive right away. A lifespan in the amount of time that a, creative, a creature lives, insects do not have all that the same lifespan. Adult mayflies live for only one or two nights. Some insects, such as queen ant, can live for up to 30 years, kiddos. Check that out. Queen ants can live up to 30 years. Insects have cool bodies. Mammals, like humans, have bones on their inside, but insects wear their hard parts on the outside. <laughs> this is called an exoskeleton. An insect's body is made of three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The abdomen is the belly, and the thorax is the middle. Huh? Yeah. The head is where the eyes and mouth parts and antennas are found, and the antenna help the insects 
taste, smell, touch, and even hear, huh? The thorax is the middle part of an insect, and it holds the legs. All insects have six legs. Remember that, kiddos? All insects have six legs. The thorax also holds the wings, if the insect has them. The abdomen, the belly, holds the insect's stomach. If the insect has a stinger, it's found here, right at the tail. Spiders have eight legs. They are not insects. Boy, Buzz is teaching us a lot with Fly Guy. Insects such as wasp hornets and some ants have stingers. Most of them use their stingers to protect themselves. Bees and wasps don't want to sting you, so leave them alone. Be careful. Some wasps use their stingers to catch food. Usually insects do not sting humans, but some insects will sting humans when they think they are in danger. Remember that, kiddos. For most people, insect stings are simply annoying and slightly painful or itchy. But some people are allergic to insects, and they should seek medical care right away if they're some. See? Look at it. If you're stung by a bee, you get your, your adult very soon and tell them, okay? We don't want anything happening. Not all insects eat the same food. Many insects munch on plants. Butterflies eat nectar out of the flowers. Other insects, such as mosquitoes, eat blood. Ah, I'm here to blood, to eat your blood. To avoid bites, wear long sleeves and pants and use insect repellent when, in, when outdoors. Insects such as ew, cockroaches and ants eat almost anything even crumbs on the floor. Fly gr guy, that's gross. Look at, he jumps into the garbage can and starts munching. That's what flies do. You notice what's behind me, right? A dump. That's where I mean, fly guy got to read every time so he can have snacks. Insects also have different ways of eating. Some insects, like grasshoppers and caterpillars, chew their food. Other insects suck it up using a special body part called a a probamus. Mosquitoes suck food up like they're drinking through a straw. The straw is the propasis. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's a tough word, isn't it? Probasis. Some insects seem to have superpowers. There are instincts that can glow. It's called bioluminescence. Fireflies are also called lightning bugs, but they're not really flies or bugs. They are beetles. They're beetles, kiddos. They have special chemicals in their abdomens. When the chemicals meet oxygen, the, fire, the fireflies' abdomens light up. Can you imagine your wall and your belly start glowing? Fireflies use their lights to help find other fireflies. They also light up to warn animals not to eat them. The glowing chemicals taste bad. Well, I've never eaten a firefly, but that wasn't why. There are insects that can survive underwater, and some can even live in hot deserts. Well, we have insects here in Arizona, and it gets hot. The world is full of amazing insects. Fairy flies are the smallest insects on Earth. These wasps can only be seen under a microscope, kiddo. You wouldn't even know it. The longest insect is Chan's Megastick. It's at 22 inches. That's almost two feet long bug, okay, a walking stick. Harvester ants are the most poisonous insects on the planet. In the air, the southern giant darner dragonfly is the speediest insect. It can fly as fast as a car going 35 miles an hour. That's what you had to drive when you're in school district. On land, the speed record goes to the cockroach. Cockroaches can run at about three and a half miles an hour. And cockroaches are tough. They can live for five days without a head. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Goodness, because what else you got to say, fly guy? Insects are important to us. And our plants would not be able to grow without them. When insects such as bees and butterflies and flowers, they pollinate. And then the flowers regrow and get bigger and better. Bees also make honey. Huh? Yeah, you 
guys all know that, right? Bees make honey. Insects are great, said Buzz. I didn't know they were so amazing. Neither did I. Did you, kiddos? Now Buzz knew for sure that Fly Guy was the coolest pet on earth. Buzz and Fly Guy couldn't wait for their next adventure. What do you think it will be, kiddos? Well, there's only one way to find out. Come back to Grandpa Ken's reading time, and I'll read it to you. Thanks, kiddo. I'm here every day, 24-7, just for you. Love you. Be safe. And talk to your adults, and they'll tell you all kinds of good rules and things that will help keep you safe. Have a great day, kiddos, and Grandpa will see you soon.